so today i am starting my lecture uh, we have discussed in previous sessions i am repeating data what is data any raw fraction figures we have is called data examples daily sales amount payable amount receivables all these things will be treated as data because uh, we haven't processed these things but after daily sales we have extract the information that our say after processing the daily sales we came to know that our sales is less so we want to increase our sale in that case it is an information for us and on the basis of that information we are going to take some decision ke how to increase our sale so information what is information the process form of data is called information or anything new to you is called information example hai we uh, these are some statistical processes and measure of central tendency dispersion theek hai ke jo hai wo mean median mod nikal lena apne data ka average nikal lena average results ko dispersion wo data kitna jo hai apne mean se deviate kiya hua hai is tarah ki cheeze ya apne data ke ko extract karke usme se meaningful us way mein usko convert kar lena usko information kehte hain तो हमारे पास कोई भी सिस्टम होता है मैंने उसको बताया था आपको उसके तीन हमारे पास जो है बेसिक फंक्शंस होते हैं ठीक है एक इनपुट होता है उसके बाद प्रोसेस होता है और उसके बाद आउटपुट आता है इनपुट पे हमारे पास डेटा होता है आउटपुट पे हमारे पास इंफॉर्मेशन आती है ठीक है ये मैंने आपको बताया था लास्ट है इनपुट प्रोसेस एंड देन वी हैव आउटपुट ठीक है इनपुट तो हमारे पास मैंने डिस्कस किया आपके पास रॉ डेटा होता है ठीक है ये कुछ एग्जाम्पल्स दी हुई हैं उसकी प्रोसेस हम उस रॉ डेटा जो होता है उसको प्रोसेस करते हैं कन्वर्ट करते हैं मैन्यूपुलेट करते हैं एनालाइज करते हैं रॉ इनपुट को इन द फॉर्म दैट इज मीनिंगफुल टू ह्यूमेंस और जो मीनिंगफुल चीज हमारे पास आती है आउटपुट उसको हम उसकी बेसिस पे हम डिसीशन मेकिंग कर रहे होते हैं ठीक है दैट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ प्रोसेस इंफॉर्मेशन टू द पीपल और एक्टिविटीज वेयर इट इट विल बी यूज्ड फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर योर फॉर एनी स्पेसिफिक टास्क ठीक है तो उसको जो हम एक्सट्रेट करके आउटपुट हमारे पास आता है उसको हम इंफॉर्मेशन कहते हैं ठीक है तो इनपुट डेटा प्रोसेस एनालिसिस ऑफ दैट डेटा दैट रॉ फैक्ट्स and extracting the right information in the form of output so that we can take decision on this so for example my pass ek scenario hai ki how many sales persons are required to have sales around 300 units theek hai iske liye hum data gathered karenge pehle to day first humne jo hai wo we have hired four salesmen and 10 units are sold similarly when day to 6 on 6 sale person 12 units are sold similarly at last after in uh, 10th day we have hired 22 sales person and 35 units are so how many sales person are required to meet the sale of 300 units so now on the basis of these we are going to calculate and mathematical put the some processes and do some mathematical calculation and get the information that how many sales persons are required to achieve the sale of 300 units so this these are i am not concerned with these processes but i am telling you that these are certain we have uh, assigned some cer certain statistical processes in which we are taking regression and interpret uh, average on average per person how many units are sold so that we can judge that how many is sales person are required in order to meet the sale of 300 units so for that we have some processes regression you can see regression equation and then we came to know that that how many on the base what is the relationship and what is the output relationship between the sales person and the number of units sold so why we need uh, need information because business require needs to take some decision in in any business we need to take decisions and decisions are 
based on the information nature of information varies with the nature of business and decisions that if you are in the finance department you have a different types of information if you are in the hr department you need any a different type of information planning of business required information in periodic or interval that after every quarter or monthly or weekly or yearly or semi annually basis you need information in order to plan your business activities so information is very important and what are the basic sources of information as per the book newspaper electronic media print media internet individual experiences past record now we have we have another most common source of information in in the category of internet further it is classified as social media social media so right now it is the most uh, powerful tool to extract or to fetch the information internet in uh, information and decision correctness of information for decision making and decisions related to product services customer employee etc also affect by the available of relevant information that there are certain attributes of information if they are fulfilled then we will take the better decisions the attributes of information we have are cat and red you can see cat and red that it means that whatever the information you are you are having it has to be correct it has to be accurate and when it is required it is available that is timely timely available doesn't for example you have an entry test of any university any program in first of january 2020 and you came to know that after first uh, january that information is correct and accurate but not timely available now it is useless for you because you have missed that particular exam yeah, particular entry test so it is not timely available for you so attributes of information for, as you have to take business decisions for different business processes so it has to be correct accurate and it has to be available timely now red in red it is related to business process for example i am asking the uh, five year financial data of my organization and somebody is giving me the advertising expense data so it is not related to my business process or somebody is telling me that uh, this much expense we have on my employees so i don't want i want i don't want hr your hr data that how much amount you are paying to you i'm asking about the business venture financial uh, reports and you are telling me that uh, marketing we have done in this manner so this is not related to my business processes and i am asking about financial data you cannot give me the marketing types of yeah, or hr or supply chain areas uh, information to me so it has to be the business process whatever the business process related information required you have to send that particular information or you must have that particular information available it has to be available whenever i want to access that information and the information coming to me it has to be from the trustworthy resource it does not so that i can take the decision on the basis of the, that information and it leads my decisions towards success so trustworthy as an you it might be possible that uh, the the person who is sending the information to me is hired by my rival or competitor companies and it is just to uh, make me take some false decisions so it has to be trustworthy an organization point of view that information requirement size of organization 
स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कल्चर हिरार्की ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड डिपेंड्स ऑन द वर्कर्स सो फर्दर सिंस आई आई टोल्ड यू वी आर डिस्कसिंग इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी इन बिजनेस सो technology whatever the technology we are using we call it as system either we have a pc we have a entire information system we have uh, i can say smartphones all these are some type of systems and the basic definition of any system is that a system has some defined boundaries in previous eras first generation and second generation the systems boundaries are uh, you can say a, a very large boundaries of a system one system can be uh, can can be consisted of entire building because uh, the size of uh, your computer systems are very huge large and as the generation passes uh, we have now a system which is named as a smartphone which is in a, in such a small size that we can easily carry in our pockets so all these systems which help us in order to process our information and we uh, and help us in the form of technology to take our, our business decisions the all these systems have some peripherals components within some specific defined bodies in order to achieve a common task ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंप्यूटर सिस्टम ऑल कंपोनेंट आर वर्किंग फॉर द फॉर द एंड यूजर्स इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव सम स्पेसिफिक गोल्स इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव स्पेसिफिक कॉमन गोल्स सो देर आर लॉर्ड्स ऑफ इंटर रिलेटेड कॉम्पोनेंट अटैच ऑन द मदर बोर्ड और इन योर इन योर स्मार्टफोन और इन योर इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम विच हेल्प यू टू जनरेट विच हेल्प यू टू जनरेट सम specific operations so all these components try to accomplish you and achieve you a specific task or specific goal what is an information system now right now the definition of an information system it is an organized combination of people hardware software database and computer network i'm repeating it is an organized combination of people hardware software communication network and data resources and policies and procedure according to which we are uh, making them enable enabling them so that it can work for the end users so there are certain policies and procedures for the end users when they are using an information system why we need all these uh, hardwares all these parts people hardware software communication network data resources and policies and procedures in order to in order to store fetch process retrieve or store, fetch something you can say common in order to fetch process store and transfer this uh, or you can say disseminate the information within or outside the organization i am repeating this definition again so that you can understand what we required we required we are gathering these things in our, in the form of information system what what we we are gathering we are gathering peoples those who are people there are two categories of people those who are working on the information system as an end user and second those who are those who are uh, designing programming and making or you can say establishing making that particular information system in which they, there are team leaders content writers programmers team of program programmers those who are programming and making the feature different features of information system enabled for the end users so there are two categories of people so an organized combination of people 
then we people are gathering some hardware then software then there are some computer networks communication networks and then data resources why they need all these things in order to in order to fetch that data and then process and then it if it is required to store store in the in your system and in your information system and if it is required to trans also transmit or transpose or disseminate disseminate meaning the same that transferring the information dissemination phaladena disseminating the information within within or outside the organization sometimes we want to transfer the information disseminate the information within the organization for to our employees and sometimes outward from the organization to our suppliers or any business partners so this is basically the definition of information system and we will study in this entire course these things that people how different peoples are working in order to design information system then what sort of hardware we have and in order to make our information system that is for example if we uh, narrow narrow down our information system uh, scale down our information system so we can consider a computer system as an information system so in computer system you can see it is in front of you in the form of laptop or in the form of desktop casing or tower casings or in, in the form of your cell phone smartphones any computer systems required some hardware some softwares some communication networks that is either it is wireless or wired and then there are certain uh, memories data is where you are storing your data that is data resources and there are certain uh, uh, softwares uh, according to the policies of the software you can use different applications and uh, you are uh, using that those information systems